Late summer is a special time in Southern California. It's finally fig season. The fig tree in our backyard is resplendent with big, fat, juicy figs just bursting at the seams. When they're ripe, they go very soft and the flesh easily splits open. And the shimmering pink beads inside take on an almost jelly-like consistency. They're sugary sweet and melt in your mouth. So enter a recipe. My almond and ricotta fig cake served with whipped honey ricotta cream. And a movie to pair with it for a full cultural immersion. A fig recipe like this could come from any country in the Mediterranean or the Middle East, the Southern Mediterranean or the Middle East. So think Italy, Turkey, Syria, Jordan, that whole region of the world grows figs incredibly well. And actually here in Southern California, we grow figs really well too. We have a different kind of fig. It's this little black mission fig. But for the purposes of this video, I'm calling this my Southern Italian fig and ricotta cake. Now the great thing about this cake, I recipied it in such a way that the base cake is just almonds, ricotta, a little bit of flour and some sugar. It's a really mild base cake. And technically, you could put whatever fruit you want on it. So if you're watching this and it's not fig season anymore, you could put whatever stone fruits you want on this cake. You could put cherries, oranges, whatever you have on hand, the base cake will stand up beautifully to any fruit that you want. These are the ingredients. Screenshot this so you can follow along with the video. First, slice your washed figs into thirds. It makes the cake more beautiful if you can pick figs of similar size. Figs flourish in Southern California, the Mediterranean, and the Middle East because they love hot, dry weather. And all three regions are similar climates across the board. Next, blend all the dry ingredients together. 3 fourths of a cup of all-purpose flour, 1 cup of almond flour, Almonds and almond flour, that's another thing that's a very, very California ingredient. We are the producers of most of the almonds in the United States. We've got almond farms all up and down the state. Actually, I have to correct myself here. We're the largest producers of almonds in the world. The last of the dry ingredients that goes into this bowl is our baking powder. And one teaspoon of salt. Mix that together and then put it aside for later. A whole stick of butter for this recipe. Then in the mixer goes a stick of butter and one cup of sugar. And let it go for a few minutes, like anywhere from three to five minutes. We wanna get it to that consistency where it whips up and gets really light and pale and extremely fluffy. Crack two eggs and add them in one at a time. Always give your bowl a good scrape down after each new ingredient. To this, we're adding both one tablespoon of almond extract and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Yes, we're gonna do both. I, I think the answer, I don't really remember, but I think the answer is that I accidentally used vanilla instead of almond. So the first cake that I ever made had both, but it was such a beautiful, almost layered complex flavor that I just ran with it. Almond flavor is one of the most popular ingredients in Southern Italian sweets. They're wild for it. In baking, it's one of my, my, my most favorite ingredients. Almond anything, I'll eat it. Remember that bowl of dry ingredients we set aside? Now it's their turn. Sift that into the batter in two parts. We're in the home stretch here, so just, just barely mix it until it just comes together and then stop. And last, but definitely not least, the star ingredient, or the co-star ingredient, the ricotta. Sicilians lay claim to ricotta, and it was actually the poor man's cheese. And it's not really a cheese, it's a cheese byproduct made from the leftover curds of mozzarella and provolone, which are then cooked a second time. Ricotta means twice cooked. It looks like when you have it in the bowl before you actually bake it, it looks very dense, but it actually bakes up not at all like that. It bakes up super, super light with the, mo the most perfect, moist, soft little crumb. Oh. Butter and flour, a nine inch spring form cake pan. Look at how beautiful this is. The figs are the most beautiful fruit to me. 
Actually, fun fact about figs. Technically, they are not a fruit. They're classified as an inverted flower. Now, the most fun part. Place the figs ever so gently on the batter. Don't push them in. If you do, the batter will swallow them up as it rises in the oven, and you'll lose this beautiful pattern. Then it goes into the preheated 375 degree oven for one hour, or until the cake turns golden brown and the middle becomes firm. Remove the collar and let it cool off completely. To serve with your cake, I created this insanely delicious whipped ricotta cream. Although it's not cream necessarily, it's just whipped ricotta with honey, but it's very mild, it's creamy, it's a perfect pair with the cake itself. And it plays beautifully to those Southern Italian flavors that we're going for. Time to dust off the food processor, but if you don't have one, your mixer with the whip attachment will work just fine. Two cups of ricotta, and three tablespoons of honey. So in Southern Italy, ricotta is used very frequently both in savory and sweet recipes. Oftentimes they'll mix ricotta with sugar and chocolate chips and all of that. So I just blitzed that just a little bit to get it kind of going and get it whipped up. Next, I'm gonna put in an ingredient that might sound weird at first, olive oil. Just a little dollop of olive oil helps to emulsify the ricotta so it gets super, super creamy and airy and light, almost frothy. And just like ricotta, Italians use olive oil frequently in desserts. Let this whip together for a few minutes, after which it will totally change texture and become super creamy. I love this consistency. Mmm. Mmm! Look at that perfect fluffy crumb. But it's not done. Wait for it. The cool, creamy whipped ricotta counterbalanced with the warm and nutty almond cake with that burst of sweet, sunny fig. It's so good, it's almost indecent. The taste test, always the ultimate test. It's sublime. The cake itself is so light and airy, but the flavor of that almond, the almond flavor and the almond flour is coming through so strong. And then this whipped ricotta is outrageous. So now that you have your Southern Italian almond ricotta fig cake, we can watch the movie. The movie that I have chosen to pair with this Italian cake is... Malena. You guys, if you have not seen this movie before, please rent it. It's a beautiful Italian language film. The whole thing is in Italian. It takes place in Sicily during World War II. Monica Bellucci plays a war widow. The whole thing, I mean, it really captures a place and a mood and a vibe. Since all of the ingredients in this cake are staples of Southern Italy, it's entirely plausible that the people in this movie in the town of Castelcuto were eating cakes just like this one. And it's the perfect pairing to eat with your Italian ricotta fig cake. If you guys enjoyed this video and this recipe, please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button because it helps the YouTube algorithm for me. I do videos like this all the time. Cook like a world traveler, foods like this that transport us to somewhere else in the world. Just because we're all stuck at home right now does not mean we cannot travel. Enjoy.